What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode number 11 of our Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. Uh, we're just going to keep on trucking along, see what we can get into. We've got uh, this quest that we've got lined up here. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is. Let me let me check. In the shadow of the estate, we had to meet Sebastian and Feldcroft. This is the first time I've been here. Um, I went ahead and just traveled up here. Looks like a nice little town, though. How nice to see little you, little encampment. Friend. We'll go ahead and get with Sebastian, see what we can get into today. Oh, he's not here. We'll just wait for him. <clears throat> Hello, Enjoy Sebastian. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there, Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them, possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. Oh, this is where we get to meet his sister. This way. Gotcha. Hey, I'm following you, Sebastian. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. Off on With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Let's go say hello to Anne. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel fix cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so goofy. It's not funny, but like, good lord. I'm we are so goofy that. looking. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. That's all good. Sebastian. Take your time. Not the visit he died for. Let's figure out what's going on really I'm here. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> And I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated. By what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. Never say never. I feel it. We can, Sebastian we can undo take it. Away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. Nah, don't give up, Anne. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for uh, I chose the, the wrong, time, I'm afraid. the wrong answer. Uh, I'm getting answer. tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. It was nice meeting you, I Anne. I wish you well. 
Let's go talk with Solomon. Unless he's gonna scream at me too. Bro, that is bright. Whoa. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. Surely there's something. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Well, we'll take the goblins down. Is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children, especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. Maybe that's the He's same thing. no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. Yeah, but he could also help her. Like, bro. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. Nah. We ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Nah, we can find a cure, I believe. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance of what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I mean, he's kind of right. Like... I mean, he's not out of line, but I don't know. He's trying to do what's right. He's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Let's go check it out then, Sebastian. Randolph's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. So what do we what do we think we can do by going up here? Huh? Is this not just gonna bring back bad memories? How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Goblins! That wizard is a dead wizard in my book. Where? Over here! Oh, the wombo combo. My dude was not ready for that. Oh, we're absolutely doing damage now. Eat a barrel. Come here. Go away. Come here, baby. You want some? Boom. Eat it. Absolute damage. Have we? Hello? Did my game break? Okay. I don't think we have made our last mistake. We're just starting to make our mistakes. Eat a barrel. Eat a rock. 
Eat a barrel. Sorry, Sebastian. I apologize, dude. Here, eat a box. Whoa, what in the world was that? Come here. Eat that. Eat that. Nice. I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I really? Tried to warn you. What do you mean you tried to warn me? Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, and rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. They were trying to hide something. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but Billy I keep Wigs. thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Let's take a look. Camp here for a specific Rebellion. reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a hobbit professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. You got a chest. Orange Eye of Newt. Rebellion. Something done here. Adjusting some. Okay. Am I stuck on these? Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Weapons. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Where's the house? Oh, it's up here. I'm stupid. I am dumb. Rebellion. A mirror. Hold on, let me collect this. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Intentional, you say? Well... This well looks familiar. Oh! This is the well from the, uh... That memory. Sebastian, I've seen this yep. before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? This is from that pensive. Pensive. I'll explain in a second. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know how it connects, but I know it's from that memory. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. <laughs> I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, 
not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch Keepers hundreds of years ago. If Pretty I didn't much. know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. True. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Let's find out. Looks like it. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. It's my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The Muggle Doctor is even some of their own healers. Grief is palpable. It's all men who lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I wanted to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think the others are wrong. I have the power to keep help these souls. Uh oh. He like gets corrupted. A journal uh -oh. entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. Traveled here to learn, but along to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. Should I lose hope? Oh no, she's gonna straight up. Oh no. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Not good, Isadora. Rebellion. Oh, that hurts, huh? Explore the cellar. Rebellion. There's not really anything else to explore. jump through that huh you're not going to believe this i can see the undercroft what a daydream because that happens to me too i can see it through the mirror bro i know it sounds strange but honestly I... nothing you say sounds <laughs> strange to me anymore fair enough True. i can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window this has happened before i'm listening I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. I like Sebastian. I didn't know I if I did it at first, but brain. I do know. The Undercroft. We made it back to the Undercroft. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to find missing pieces, huh? Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Yep. 
Yeah, it doesn't mean anything to me. Just looking anything at it. Helpful in the notes. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. Yes, sir. I'll be in touch. Till then. Cool. Completed the Shadow of the Estate. That was interesting. Revelio. What else is there in here for me to search? Oh, chest. Chest, chest, chest. Unidentified back, back item. Okay. All right, what's next on the agenda? Oh, shiny mission. The elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Okay, let's do it. Check in with Deke. Okay, so we need to go to our room of requirement. We'll check in with Deke. Deke? Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Oh, this is how you capture the beasts. Perfect for right? gathering and transporting yes. beasts. Nice. Pleasant little breed. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Show me, Deke. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Let's do it. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. So I think this will help us with our money situation, because I'm pretty sure you can grab beasts and you can sell them. We're not poaching, though, because we're saving them from the poachers. We're selling them to traders. I don't think it's poaching. I hope not. <laughs> A nasty poacher. Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. So we need to equip we this to our. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the spell, beasts. Quick spells, I'm pretty sure. A of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff scheme, and in it'll go. All right. All right. So I need to put it on. Where is which one? This one. Um. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Got him. 
you got one. Nice. So can you do that with all of them? Or do you have a certain amount that you can actually... That's sick. Rescue beasts. Come here, puff skins. Come here, no. Settle yourself. How many of these can we get? Come here, puff skin. Come here, puff skin. Did all of them? Professor Howell will never believe this. Oh, there's one more. I saw him. No, I'm trying to save you. Do cooperate, won't you? I'm trying to save you, Puffskin. Boom. Man, I guess that's all of them. Cool. I managed to rescue a Puffskin. You can or rescue six. as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff schemes and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff scheme. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area. We recently. can handle the poachers. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I'm ready, Deke. But being so passive. Oh, oh, he just said, I am out. I am outie. All right, let's take our broom. Off to the jobber knolls. Jobber knolls. I need to get that upgrade on my broom soon. I didn't know you had to buy it though. That's kind of like stupid. I thought the whole point was we did the quest for him so he could give us an upgrade. Whatever his name is, Wilkies. Hey Deke, we're here. Hello Deke, should we continue? Oh good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Wait, we didn't are just here in this large tree. We didn't if encounter helpful, any poachers. Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. So let's put um Levioso. I feel like the freeze spell would be good. Let's put the freeze spell in here and see if we can use it to catch some. Beast habitats can be found at different locations of the world. Wherever there is a beast habitat, you can be sure to find a magical beast nearby. Jabber Null. And... Nice. Cool. Everything's all right now. Oh, you can just suck them up. Oh, you had to do it twice. I was wondering what the second little circle there for was for. They don't seem too alarmed, so I guess we're helping them out. I'll look after you. All right, Deke. We've got the Jabernals. 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 Deke hopes your Jabernal finds the knapsack. Nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. All right, Deke. Yeah. 
Yeah, the broom is essential. Without the brooms, it'd be really hard to get anywhere. Blue flame. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke so, will be waiting for your return. We gotta wait for night time. Okay. Let's wait till night time. Yes. Right, let's get a moon calf. I don't think we have to use this freeze spell. Maybe on these you do. Uh, I don't know. Oh, these are cute. They're cute. Come here. No, no, no. No, don't run. No. No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. I mean you no harm. There. Freeze. <laughs> That's the way to do it. The free spell. Especially on these because it takes three passes on it. I mean you no harm. I'm sorry. This is mean, I know, but it's like they're like the fainting goats. Need more. Come here, Mooncalf. I'm... Listen, we're friends. <laughs> this seems so wrong. <laughs> uh, let's get enough. Let's go back to D. Moonstone. Come here. Come here. No. No, you don't. <laughs> That's so wrong, dude. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it's literally like fainting goats. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not going to hurt you. All right, Deke. I got all these things. It's moon calf. Trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Sick, so we can TP What's back here. I'm assuming that they take a while to respawn, like maybe you have to like cycle the days to get them to respawn. I don't know that for a fact, but that would make the most sense. Room of requirement. Let's go. Go check, finish up with Deke and see what else he has to show us. We're back, Deke. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. What, are we going to have like a farm in our room? Hmm, what exactly did you think of? I don't think they're going to fit in their deke. Oh, oh, oh. Heavens! What in the world is going on? <laughs> What is it? It's like a greenhouse. Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Okay, let's go in. I'd like Whoa. to ask you about changing the room's ambience. What just happened? Actually, perhaps another time. 
It seems that was to be weird. A place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, this is oh, sick. The beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Sure. Manage beasts. The vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Cool. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes. She's well known for helping to care for beasts in the. So and that is how you make give money. You a fair price for cool. Them. Speaking of care. Beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Like the jabbernal feather. Like puff skin fur. Okay. Here, puff skin. Dick thinks you are doing good work here. Dang, aren't you just the cutest little thing? <laughs> that tongue. That's freaking hilarious. Uh, I need your fur. Will you give me fur if I give you a a? a A brushing. Oh, nice. Hey, buddy. If I brush you, do I get some of your fur? You want some food? We got some moon calf fur. Where's the jobber and jobberwocky? Uh, where? Summon. There he is. Hey, buddy. Eat some food. So when you feed and brush them, you get their collectible materials. That's pretty cool. How do we collect? Collect. Sick. Deke, we got all our materials. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful. Oh, that's how we upgrade our clothing. Ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll cool. be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Let's go. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, how do we do this again? I already forgot. Uh, how do we conjure? I forgot how to conjure. Rebellion. I forgot how to conjure. Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, it's this, right? Yeah, the conjuring spell.
Utility, Enchanted Loom. Uh, let's put it somewhere where it's not just like in the middle of everything. Let's just put it here. Why not? Add a trait to an item of clothing. Upgrade an item of clothing. So, what are we wearing? Gear features one primary offense or defensive stat by default. Can be used to add an upgrade, a secondary stat, or apply traits to your gear. Multiple smart can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. Okay. Is this what I'm wearing? Yeah, it is. Okay. View upgrades. View traits. Uh, increase damage with Defendo. I don't even have that yet. Okay. Let's do... Uh, this gives us offense. Let's view upgrade for this. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do a trait. I guess let's just do the decreased damage for now. Other because I don't think we have anything else. There's so many you can add. Holy moly, that's crazy. Yeah, let's do the the necromantic protection. Cool. And then we need to upgrade an item of clothing. Uh, let's also upgrade this sunrise robe. Nice. Cool. I see. That's Came sick. I should show Deke. Really neat. Deke, I learned how to use the loom. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful yes. magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you, Deke. Thank you for your help, Deke. That's sick. That was a cool mission. I really like that, actually. We gotta level up. Let's go ahead and use the talent. Let's lose just some of our talent points. We should have a couple, I think. Oh, we've got four. Let's go. Uh... I feel like we're eventually gonna have to do this room of requirement one, but let's do... Let's stick with the core for now. I want another spell page. Oh, we can do another spell page, right? Wait, where was that under core? Yes. Yes, let's do a new spell page. Awesome. Increases the range of Revelio. I don't think we need that right now. Basic cast impacts on airborne enemies contribute more to the ancient magic meter. Um. What's this? Wigan well, nah. Ancient magic throw catches and throws disarmed enemy weapons. Oh, cool. No. Spells. Strike an enemy frozen by glacius blast damage you shards outward from the target. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one because I'm gonna add this to my spell. I'm gonna add it instead of the pulse, though. I think that this end does better. And let's take a look at the dark art one. I don't know. I just don't feel like. I don't have any of these, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not in dark arts, really. 
Let's see what this is. Uh, no. Invulnerable, no. No, I don't think any of these are that good. Let's just go to the core then. Let's increase our Revelio distance and... Let's do... Oh, that should be good. That'll give us more uh, ancient magic. Cool. All right. Well, that was a good episode of Hogwarts Legacy. That was episode 11. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm having a blast once again. Let me know what you're enjoying, what you want to see next. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.